It's Monday. What's up? How y'all doing? It's Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. It is June 11th. Yeah, I gotta look over and check because it is hard to keep up with the days. So, it's June 11th, 2018. Here in another couple weeks, we'll be halfway through the year. So that's just crazy to me. So, there you go. Um, hope y'all had a wonderful weekend. Um, my little notifications thing has changed. I'm guessing that is like a latest Facebook update or something. Typically, it says like at the bottom, this person has joined in. But no, this time I got a little bubble at the top. Or whatever. Anyway, there. Stuff y'all don't care about. Anyway, <laughs> so the big news in Montana today is it's snowing. Not here in Billings. Not here in Billings. Um, let's see. On Saturday, the high was 91. Today, I think 65. I keep wanting to do some of these, you know, Monday nights outdoors on our back patio, but um, the wind is something fierce today. I mean, it's just, it's cuckoo crazy. So if I tried to do it outside today, you wouldn't hear me over the wind. Yeah, it's always something. So one of these nights, hopefully I can do one of these Facebook lives, you know, outside on our little back patio. but. Whatever, but yeah, three hour, about two and a half, three hours from my, from us, um, Big Sky, Montana, um, which we have visited the past two years for the um, MBAs, the Montana Broadcaster Awards, um, and it snowed there today. It snowed. I don't think it was a ton. It was like looked like about a dusting, like a fourth inch or so, but still, it snowed. It's June. That's crazy to me. <laughs> so anyway, we're not expecting any snow here in Billings. But what's funny is we are heading to Whitefish, Montana on Friday morning. And it's about 25, 30 minutes from Glacier National Park. They are still... I mean, those snow plows and everything are still just like, they're just going to town on those um, roads trying to get the snow away. That way so they can open up the going to the sun road, which if you've heard anything about it, it's one of the most scenic routes in the United States of America. It's like 56 miles long, but it takes you through all of just, I mean, it's just windy and just takes you through the mountains of Montana. So our hopes is we've got the, we're going out Friday morning. Philip's got a thing Friday night. The awards thing is Saturday night. And then um, Sunday, I, I think Philip's got some kind of, I think there's some kind of political thing going on actually in Whitefish. So he's got to cover it a little bit. So, um, but after that, we're hoping to drive into Glacier and drive a little bit of the going to the sun road i think there's only like 24 miles of it available we can't drive the whole thing though because they're still like just they're trying to plow it because there's just that much snow and this past winter was like one of the worst on record so it's going to take them that much longer to plow it so We've got to do Glacier because we would hate to be here for three years and say we never did it. So we're going to try and see as much as we can in a day. Of course, you can't see anything, everything in a day. But either way, we're going to see what we can do in um, Glacier on, next Sunday. Fingers crossed, there's no snow. Right now, next Saturday, the high is like 61 in rain. Depending on how low that low is, you know what that means. 
So, okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started because I can sit here and talk all day about how crazy Montana is, but it doesn't change from week to week. I mean, it's pretty crazy all the time. So here we go. Tonight, it's kind of a chocolatey night. We're doing a chocolate cream pie martini, which I am super, super, super excited about. And what's weird is these little <coughs> bubbles, like I told you, I used to have like a little thing down here telling me who was logging on, but now I have these little bubbles up here that tells me who's on. It's kind of distracting because they keep popping on and popping off. Yeah, there you go. All right, so anyway, tonight's martini is a chocolate cream pie martini. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of excited about this one because it sounds completely awesome. And I mean, what's not to love? I mean, it's chocolate, it's creamy, and it's pie. What's not to love? All right, so you do need um, one part of each um, rum chata, which I think I used in a recipe a few weeks ago, which was fairly new to me. And that's the only time I had to open the bottle. Did I use it? I can't, no, maybe not. The seal was broken, but that thingy was there. Yeah, I think I've opened it before. Anyways, that's good, rum chata. This was the first, um, besides I guess the time that I tried it before, this was um, like one of the first times. Okay, so you need rum chata, you need vanilla vodka, you need chocolate liqueur, which I'm not gonna lie, I'm cheap. Our bottle shop is awesome, and they have this huge carousel of, um, I call them sample sizes, travel sizes, whatever, little small bottles. So if you don't want to buy a big bottle of whatever, they've got a huge carousel of most things, so you can easily find something you want. So I don't want to buy a giant $50 bottle of Godiva chocolate liqueur, so I bought a couple of little travel size thingies for like three bucks total. Cause it's not something I'm gonna keep in my, you know, bar for a long time. And if I do, I'm not gonna wanna use it because it's expensive. All right, so you need one part rum chata. So let me go ahead and do this. One part rum chata. I'm gonna need to get new measuring thingies here soon. My little um numbers are starting to wear off. Hmm. One part rum chata. Then you need one part vanilla vodka. It's 360, it's my favorite brand. Again, if you are in the South, I would love if you checked out your beverage stores to see if it was available there. Then you need one part of chocolate liqueur. I've got Godiva chocolate liqueur, and of course, I, that's the reason why I got the two bottles is because I knew that one would empty. One part chocolate liqueur. And then it says one tablespoon of chocolate syrup, which I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be lazy. I'm just gonna pour in some chocolate syrup if it wants to come out. That looks about one tablespoon to me. It's probably too much because I like chocolate. But have you ever gotten in trouble with too much chocolate? Don't think so. Mix it up really well. And then, of course, pour and it. It's me, of course. You've already got double the recipe because this is. A it doesn't fill up your cup. So, double your recipe so it will fill up your, you know, martini glass. Yep. I got martini juices all over the place. <laughs> but it is so yummy. It is so chocolatey and creamy and not at all boozy, which is um, nice. It's super yummy and decadent and 
yeah if you like chocolate cream pie or just like chocolate this is this is a good one all right so tonight we are i don't want to say necessarily focusing on dads but if you got a dad majority of the time he buys what he wants he has everything he needs it's hard to shop for him so what do you do for the dad who has got everything he needs now most of the time they talk about that quote um, the way to a man's heart's through his stomach and that's of course you know i guess if you're dating him or whatever of course you're i hope i hope you're not dating your dad hope you're not dating your dad if so it's kind of weird but if you want to do something awesome for your dad show him how much you love him maybe you just make need to make him you know a sweet treat and tonight is one of my favorite kind of recipes i love a good trifle i love a good layered dessert i love I love a dessert that is layered and is full of just all sorts of different textures and yumminess and everything. So, for the recipe tonight, of course, I'm going to go through the ingredients first because I am horrible with doing it later when going through it. You need um, one package of brownie mix, whatever brownie mix you want. Go ahead and make the brownies according to the package directions. You need a package of um, 3.9 ounce instant chocolate pudding. You need a half cup of water. You need one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. And then you need two eight ounce containers of frozen whipped topping otherwise known as Cool Whip. So, here we go. I have already made the brownies. I made the brownies yesterday, which I thought was smart. I thought it was smart because I'm like, ooh, let me go ahead and get ahead. That way so I don't spend, you know, 20 minutes waiting for brownies to cook. Instead, I had a day and a half or a day of avoiding eating the brownies. So, got my bowl here. We got my brownies so here we go our in a large bowl we're going to take our brownie mix and guys if you guys have any um awesome ideas for father's day share them um it's always nice to hear what you're doing for your dads that way so other people can get ideas uh, we got pudding mix we're going to add our one half cup of water. We're going to add our sweetened condensed milk. What are you guys doing for your dads? I mean, we're less than a week away. We're six days away. What are you doing for your dads? What has your dad requested? What does your dad want? My dad is hard to shop for. And if he's still watching right now, he's hard to shop for because he's very particular about his tools. He is, um, he's, if he wants it, he buys it. Um, he's got everything he wants. I mean, look at me. Perfect daughter right here. I mean, he's got my mom, perfect wife. He's got me, perfect daughter. So, I mean, what else could he want? I mean, come on. There you go. <laughs> so we got um, a chocolate pudding mix, my water, my sweetened condensed milk. Um, it says for us to mix that until it's smooth. I took the wrong spoon and yep, I'm already making a mess. I am not at all a clean cook. I can follow a recipe, but... Um, it is not clean along the way. I, I'm not Martha Stewart. I'm not one of those people that can easily, you know, just go through a recipe and leave like no evidence behind. Nope, not me. All right, so we've got our, um, all of that mixed well. Then 
you take your whipped topping. It does not specify Cool Whip. To me, just say Cool Whip. I'm one of those people that if you, um, if I go to a restaurant and they ask me what I want to drink, I'm like, hey, I'd like a Coke. Oh, well, we have Pepsi. To me, it's all the same thing. Coke is either Coke or Pepsi. Coke. Technically, I prefer Pepsi, but I'm one of those that, um, I don't care. If you say whipped topping, to me, it's Cool Whip. So anyway, then mix in your um, eight ounces of whipped topping. Save these containers. If you're one of those people that likes to craft or whatever, save that container. You never know when you're going to need it. All right, so you are going to mix in that whipped topping into your pudding mixture, into as well blended. Of course, I am not one of those fancy people. I do not have a um, KitchenAid mixer. And it's weird because I actually, uh, my mom sent me a message this past week saying, hey, update your Amazon wish list because Amazon Prime Day is coming up next month and she wants to do some of her Christmas shopping ahead of time. Well, I'm not one of those people that puts a KitchenAid mixer on her list. The only reason why I would need one is because of this whole little, you know, martinis with Amanda on Monday, Monday nights. I, I am more than fine with using a good old whisk. And um, yes, it would be easier to, um, of course, have a KitchenAid mixer to do it all for me. But to me, I like a cleaner counter space. I don't want to add a whole bunch of stuff to my counters. So, there you go. Okay, so we've mixed in pudding mix, water, sweetened condensed milk. Then we fold it. Well, we're supposed to fold in. You know what? I'm going to sit here and pretend like I folded it in for a second. Yep, there you go. Folded in our, um, <laughs> our um, whipped topping. Okay, now we're going to take our trifle bowl. So, uh, if you have made your brownies ahead of time, hopefully you have, which like I said, I made ours yesterday, I'm going to, um, let's see, do place, now, I got this bowl at Walmart for like $5.99. I don't have a proper trifle bowl. Okay, so. Place your brownies, and this is not one of those things that has to be, you know, all pretty and everything. You know, pu push your brownies, of course, the bottom. Part of your pudding mix. I love a layered dessert. part of your pudding mix, and then I have to open this one up because I actually need another spoon. I don't need another spoon, but I don't like mixing because I could use my, you know, the one that was used in the pudding mix, but I don't want to. Because, hmm, I'm weird like that. Alright, so, and then you're just going to keep layering. So there is our, now, you're going to take some more of the top, spread it out, smush it out. It's really, this is one of those things, again, that is not, um, Really, I mean, you don't have to be like particular with the um, how much is actually required. You don't have to follow like exact measurements. 
that. Pour in your pudding mix stuff. Push it around. Now, if for some reason your dad is not a chocolate person, you can do the exact same thing with some angel food cake and strawberries. Just instead of the chocolate pudding mix and yeah, instead of chocolate pudding mix, you can do like a, you have to look it up. I mean, if you look it up on Pinterest or whatever, there's a mixture where you can combine um, cream cheese and a pudding mix and then do, you know, the strawberries and everything. So, um, if for some reason your dad's not a chocolate kind of person, then there are so many different ways that you can do this. Now, like I said, a layer dessert is my, one of my like favorites. If you want, ever want to like score big in Manda's world, guess what? This is the way to do it. And it, all, all this is, is just, you know, completely, it's just layering. That's all it is. So, with that being said, since, I mean, I'm just finishing up this up, for the most part, this dessert is done. I mean, you just keep working until you are, you don't have any more ingredients to spread. And then, last one. I'm gonna, it's gonna be a whole lot because I didn't use as much prior. And you can get like, I mean, trifle bowls at Walmart for like I said, under 10 bucks. Spread that around. I mean, and guess what? Even if this isn't up dad's alley, make it for dad and everyone else will enjoy. Because the thought, it, it, it comes down to the, it, it's the thought that matters, right? So, even if dad didn't enjoy, everyone else will, right? So, there you go. So, I know one of my sisters is watching. Um, if I were her, I would be smart and um, like make this for dad. Add my name to the tag because I'm sharing you the recipe. Yep, you're welcome. I ran out of Cool Whip toppings, so possibly I would add a little bit more Cool Whip to it. It's probably because my bowl's too big. But there you go. So once you are done layering it up, put it in the refrigerator for a few hours, hopefully overnight, but it's for the most part ready to start. It's done, it's good, whatever. And that is all sorts of yumminess and awesomeness and my husband's gonna be so happy because he gets to take advantage of this this week. So there you go. Brownie trifle. What's not to love? I know, right? So, all right. Because we just got a couple minutes left, I wanted to tell you guys next Monday, there is no Facebook Live. No Facebook Live next Monday. Um, like I said, we are going to Whitefish, Montana. We have a huge awards ceremony for my husband's um, television station. We are, fingers crossed, will win um, best television newscast. I just, I need everyone to cross their fingers for best television newscast Saturday night. This is, I mean, this is a huge deal. So, um, Saturday night we will be doing the, um, 
Montana Broadcasters Association award show. And um, so Monday night, we, I will not be here. There will um, not be a Martinez with Amanda. Of course, if there's anybody here that has something they'd love to share, I would love to plug you in on Monday night to kind of act as a substitute. So um, if you can, get in touch with me and we can make that work. Um, so otherwise, you guys will not see me for two weeks. You won't see me next week, but the next Monday I should be back. And the next Monday will be June 25th, I think. June 25th, I think. And it's a special kids night. I have had several um, comments, things, you know, suggestions of what people want to see. So June 25th will be a special kids night. No Martini Monday. It will be hashtag Milkshake Monday. Milkshake Monday. So, um, we will be making cotton candy milkshakes. I mean, come on. If you're going to substitute a martini with something, wouldn't you want it to be a cotton candy milkshake? So, yeah. Cotton candy milkshakes to start us off. And then we will be doing some fun, creative art activities with paint that does not involve paintbrushes. So, in two weeks, a fun kids' night with paint and art. No paintbrushes needed. So, with all that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your evening, rest of your week. I will miss you guys next Monday. Of course, you all know where to reach me if you want to, you know, chat, some of your ideas, whatever. Please do. Please do. The ride from here Whitefish, Montana is like eight and a half hours, so I got plenty of time to chat. Depending on the cell phone coverage between, I may do some Facebook Lives. <laughs> so anyway, um, I hope you guys uh, have had a great day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you guys again in two weeks. Love y'all. Bye.